And it's almost a case of uh, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do, sort of thing, you know. But anyway, here we go. We've got some Drosera. Oh, jeez, have I gone off now? I'm still on spot colour and focus, so it should. Anyway, they need to be cleaned up, but at least you've got a decent whack of uh, fresh Drosera profile seeds. So these are the two special ones I did the year. These are fresh. Yeah, so there's no argument on these, and the same with the, I've got some fresh glid seeds I'll be doing as well, so you know, they'll be, so you've got old, you have old glid seed over a number of seasons, and fresh glid seed from this season, as I said there was no glid seeds from last season uh, in, in in my neck of woods, first time in, oh, since I've been living in the area anyway, it's the worst season, uh, they, just, they didn't even get to the flat, it just got so dry so quickly that they just... The, you know, the flower sorts dried off and now it's gone. They didn't have a chance. No seed last year in my local area, basically. As far as I know, anyway. There may have been a patch hit I don't know about. But um, anyway, I think we should talk about the new. But uh, yeah, I decided to go for a purple one this time. And the old ones have always been blue. I thought, oh, well, can I embrace change? Yeah, I'll go for a purple lightsaber this time. <laughs> What do they call it? They're joking on the, on the line. What are they calling it? A nerd stick. Maybe this is what the, this is a nerd stick. Hang on. A nerd stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a gen I'm a generous sci-fi person, so you know, to me, the prequels weren't too bad. I like the politics running. You know, you could see there was the the kids' version of the prequels, and then there was the adult politic thing running across the top. That's what I liked. You know, the children could get into it, and also the adults could get into all the lovely politics and the, and the language. You know, I always found that the language of George Lucas was a bit like the language in the Thunderbird series. Have you ever watched the Thunderbird series? You know, I know it's a kid's show, but the language of Thunderbirds, I mean, you could do a whole bloody book on the language. It's like, uh, is it Trump, Trumbo or whatever his name is? He used to write all the great screenplays. You know, he had such a uh, facility of language. He's almost like the modern-day Shakespeare in a way. Um, and I said, whoever worked on the scripts of the, the Thunderbirds, the, the language, it's, it, it's almost like uh, what I'm trying to say. You know, the summertime blues thing, whenever you hear the summertime blues, the, the actual words in there, you know, the language of, you know, uh, even putting on the sort of pseudo-Italian accent in the thing, saying you know, it never worked late and all that thing. It's so fresh. It could be as though someone had written it and sang, sang it yesterday. And uh, it's t timeless is what I was trying to say. Well, it's not, not, not just timeless. What's the word when it's, it just, it's always ever present if there is a word for ever present you know it's almost like it was done yesterday you know it's almost like eddie cochran is singing it you know it's just you know written off in eight minutes and singing it and recording it today actually not just yesterday but today uh, the words are just so politically you know you can just it's something that a father would say to a son or someone like that even today you know they those would be the phrases and the words that you would say even today they're ever timeless sort of thing you know it's um it's almost like finding a, a phrase from sh 